Hey guys, what's up? It's Samantha, and I'm finally back with timely memory keeping. This is the first week of January 2020, and I am doing it in my cloud inserts from Aura Estelle, and I'm just so excited. This is the first time I'm doing a spread in this, so my foundation of the spread took a little bit longer, just getting everything lined up. I think I might have put the top headers a little bit too high or something because I was off by just like a millimeter at the bottom and then it threw off because I was just going to do the boxes on the bottom and do the headers that way and then kind of fill things in as necessary. But I think I uh, misplaced a couple things by a few millimeters. So there's some undo involved. It'll, it'll get smoother as it goes on. And I did end up doing something a little different on the top instead of deco just because I was kind of over putting down the foundation of the spread by the time I got around to doing deco. But I really enjoyed filming with these inserts. It was so much easier than a planner and the flipping back and forth and not having the coil in the way. I really, really enjoyed this. I'm so excited to get to memory keep in this for you guys. And that jump right there was me using some undo to straighten things out a little bit. But yeah, this is the SPC Planner Party Kit. I did use this in my main planner. I am going to be posting a flip through of my main planner for 2019, even though I do normally do July to June planning. I film my flip throughs annually, so I do the back half of one planner and the front half of another planner, but I do it quarterly, so I'll have four videos up, but I you'll see that in one of my flip throughs whichever one August is in, I think the third one. Um, and yeah, I did buy this kit again because we got full boxes that I, I actually didn't end up using. So I'll probably do another spread with this that isn't 20s themed and use those full boxes and the extras I have from this kit. Or maybe I'll buy like another label sampler, glitter sampler, if it's still in the shop sort of thing. But I love this kit so much so I wanted to use the 2020 boxes since it's like Great Gatsby 20s themed. I did also buy the 2020 New Year's boxes and I used all of those in this and then pulled in some of the boxes and fashion girls from the original kit. I also used the matte champagne wiggle that came with the kit in the SPC like planner party bundle that we got like when we like with our tickets that, that was part of like the bundle and then there was also this matte navy wiggle that I think we got at the party in our bags I can't remember but I'm pretty sure because this also is matte champagne so I decided to pull in some of that and then the washi on the bottom the teal it's from Simply Gilded and that teal matches really perfectly and it's just really celebratory it's not matte champagne. I actually think it's like rose gold and hollow. It does not match the foil in any way, shape, or form, but I really love that color and it matches like that teal in the kit just completely perfectly and it felt celebratory for a New Year's spread. Sometimes I pick bottom washi where the foil doesn't quite match. That's all right, um, but I also pulled in some of the, the same matte champagne foil, but from an earlier wiggle that was released that wasn't from the one that came with it, if that makes sense, because she had done matte champagne as a normal wiggle, I think, and then also did like a revamped version of it. I don't know. I pulled in some more full box overlays and all that fun stuff. I feel like I'm not making any sense. I haven't filmed a plan with me in so long. I'm like, how do I do this? I don't remember what I normally talk about, but I used a ton of the matte champagne with this and again, the matte navy. I have I, did I redo my sidebar already? Did I pull it up? I don't know. I did end up redoing my sidebar because I just decided to do like three full boxes because nothing much really happened. Um, yeah, I already redid that. Whoops. So I just decided to mark one thing on the sidebar because not too much happened this week. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I haven't been super active in stories, but I have been posting daily again for the last few weeks but I have been in a lupus flare-up for over a month, which is part of why all of these videos 
have been so late why I decided not to do any more back planning of memory keeping. I finished out the one planner that I had for memory keeping through June and then I'm just done. I'll use all the kits that I had bought for memory keeping eventually in other spreads. And this like went unfocused, even though I have autofocus on. I don't know why it did that, but it took me a second to <laughs> realize. So sorry. Um, I added the uh, confetti overlay to the top. I took a page out of Andrea's book, and then I just added some little deco bits in there to make it a little more fun. But um, on the sidebar, all I marked was that I had a, like this was just another week of lupus flare. So this was a pretty zombie-like week, as you'll see, and I did fill things out as I went along. I don't know that I'll do this every week, but I just wanted to do it as I was going and see what writing on the paper looked like, because if I didn't like how writing on this paper looked, then I was going to not write directly on the paper, because sometimes I do like to write directly on my planner pages and leave some white space in between things. So on Monday morning, I unloaded the dishwasher. I kind of did this out of order. Normally, I put birthdays on the top, but Monday was my mom's birthday, and I unloaded the dishwasher, and then I worked 9.15 to 5.15. I was moving really sluggishly that morning, which is why my schedule was shifted 15 minutes, but I used a lot of zombie stickers this week, a lot of tired stickers. So I have, I've had a lot of joint pain and part of why, I mean, the spread's going up about a week late, which for me at this point is timely. Um, my hands haven't been hurting as much the past few days, but part of my lupus symptoms is I get a lot of swelling and arthritis in my finger joints and it makes it difficult to hold a pen or tweezers or do any kind of um, planning stuff, Legos, anything that requires a lot of fine motor movement, anything that requires grasping, um, I have to like peck with two fingers if I'm typing something. So I just wasn't able to plan for a couple weeks pretty much at all. Um, or if I'd had like one day, I was going to like work on finishing spreads in my main planner and not my memory keeping. But Monday night, I came home and watched YouTube and had some wine and read. And then Joe and I cuddled on the sofa together. Um, I really love those cozy cuddly stickers from once more with love they're like really super cute um tuesday was new year's eve and i was in a ton of pain this day um i feel like such a downer but i was i've just been in a lot of pain and i've been really fatigued i've been sleeping a lot and it just doesn't leave a lot of time to do fun things when you're in bed 10 to 14 hours a day and you're also working full time and you still need to do things like eat meals and shower and do the bare minimum to keep your house from falling into disrepair. Um, just don't have a lot of time for filming videos when I'm in the middle of flares. So um, New Year's Eve, I worked nine to five, the library closed early, so we all left at five, which was great. And I talked to my mom on the way home. And then for New Year's Eve, Joe and I opened a bottle of champagne and Joe went and got Olive Garden takeout. I'd had a crazy hankering for Olive Garden for quite some time. And I used a spaghetti sticker from Once More With Love. Olive Garden is like my favorite like chain trash dinner food. Like their salad is crack. Their breadsticks are crack. Like it's not... There's just like something about it that is so insanely satisfying to me. I haven't had Olive Garden in months and I haven't had the energy to like go out to restaurants in a really long time. So we did the takeout and I, I was really enjoying that. And then Joe and I watched The Mandalorian. We actually went to bed pretty early. I think we went to bed around like 10, 15 or 10, 30 because I was just really tired. Um, and then Wednesday was New Year's Day and I was in a ton of pain. I think I, this night I woke up in the middle of the night with a lot of joint pain and I was having trouble sleeping. So I ended up sleeping in really late. I used a sleep in script from Paper and Milk and then another zombie sticker from Once More with Love. And then I basically spent the whole day, my hands weren't hurting that much. Like once I slept more, a lot of times that helps my joint pain. So I basically spent 
all day cleaning off my desk and opening happy mail packages and putting stickers away, putting washi away, reorganizing things to get everything put away and clear off my desk because I basically hadn't put anything away in a month and I just had piles of bubble mailers and cello bags and things that just needed to be put away and like assigning weeks to kits in my binders for organization, all that fun stuff. Um, This is going to change. That sticker just ended up being too big for what I wanted to mark with it and I messed up when I was writing on it. I wrote a U instead of an O. (laughs) So oops. But then after I cleaned off my desk, I finally sat down to plan, yeah, writing. It's like it wants to autofocus on my pen, so I won't write on camera anymore. I'm still, this is only, I've only filmed a few plan with me's with my new camera that I got for my birthday. So I am still learning what works and what doesn't work with this continuous autofocus thing. So, um... I planned with my clean desk and did some of my like main planner spreads, got those caught up, all my December Christmassy spreads, and then I stayed up really late reading Mistborn. I think this was just the first Mistborn. I like once I finished the first Mistborn, I ended up burning through the second and third book so fast, like The Well of Ascension and Hero of Ages. I think I finished in four days. And those are big books. Like I think together that would be close to 1400 pages in two di- in four days. So um, Thursday I slept in and both that sticker and the script are from Paper and Milk. And I was really groggy and hurting and that tired sticker is from Once More With Love. But I was scheduled to work 12 to 8 on Thursday. I ended up just going in 4 to 8 because I had a couple things like I wanted to get done um around the house and when I like things that needed to get done like I had no clean towels things like that um and it's like I was really tired really groggy and staying home those four hours allowed me to spend like 45 minutes picking up you know the pile of mail at the front door and tidying up a few things so it's like all sort of a balance and a trade-off and trying to find that balance but I needed to take some time to rest, have a slow morning. And then I was able to do like a load of towels and just pick up some things around the house. My piano sort of the last couple weeks of this, because I'd been having like a lupus flare, had just been collecting Amazon boxes and mail that needed to go in the recycling bin or get dealt with and all that kind of stuff. So felt good to kind of get things a little bit under control and then um, I went into work four to eight and then Joe and I came home and had a beer together and watched the boys on Amazon which Joe has watched before but he's been wanting me to watch it with him so I started watching that with him and then we just kind of like snuggle on the couch while we were watching the boys that was a lot of fun and then Friday I was off which is why I stayed up a little bit later on Thursday and I tend to have more energy in the evenings like with lupus stuff I tend to wake up more sore and achy and stiff and then there's some days where I'm just like tanked the whole day but a lot of times if I'm like really slow and restful throughout the day I tend to be more like myself in the evenings um so that was nice and Friday was actually a pretty good day I didn't have a lot of pain I was off and so I woke up I had my coffee and watched YouTube and then I had a Walmart pickup scheduled at noon, like from the noon to one slot, because I wanted to not just like, I needed to get a couple of things done this day. And that was my motivation to like shower and put on clothes. Um, And then my reward was getting Panera pickup. I also like filled up my tank with gas. So I ordered Panera on the app and there's a Panera right by the Walmart that I do the pickup at. So got that and then I came home and this was one of the stickers from the SPC planner party that I think I uh stole a sheet of from Andrea I think this was Andrea's or was this yeah I don't know I have a couple sheets of the different girls from the party that Andrea gave me so I had this for like me time I watched a bunch of YouTube I think um Peru's project had uploaded a vlog this day so I was like really excited because I got to like chill on the sofa in the afternoon and watch the vlog and then I read a bunch 
but I just wanted to mark me time because I was alone. Joe was at work. I just got to chill out. And then I planned, continued getting caught up on my main planner. And then we started doing HelloFresh because Plated shut down, which is a bummer. But I'm actually really liking HelloFresh. I feel like their meals are more like weeknight meals. Sometimes Plated stuff was like really over-involved. And that was really fun when I was cooking all the time. And it got me to try new ingredients. And I didn't have to go shopping and everything. But now I want more like simple, easy meals that are faster to make and don't require like quite as much energy if that makes sense just because I don't have the energy to like put into meal planning and shopping and all of that is just right now mental energy I don't have so so far I'm really enjoying HelloFresh it just is working really well for me and then we watched the boys on Friday night so Saturday I was exhausted I had to work on Saturday and I Unloaded the dishwasher in the morning. I worked nine to five and it was just a really rough day at work. I had a lot of like odd patrons, people who kept trying to touch me. One guy like literally just grabbed my hand, um, people hitting on me. Just it was like every weird person like got home. Like they're like, oh, the holidays are done. I'm bored. What am I going to do? Let's go to the library and harass people. Like it wasn't just me. There were other people like there were like someone was bothering the student assistants. It was just like an insane day and I was over it. Like, I just could not wait to go home. It was like every crazy came out of the woodwork. And on my way home, I stopped and got a KFC Famous Bowl, which I don't really love their mashed potatoes, but I like all the toppings on it. And I don't like the mashed potatoes plain, so I usually don't finish the mashed potatoes. And like, it's not really the healthiest thing, but sometimes I just like really want that like warm saltiness. (laughs) I don't know. I've been like, I've had a thing with them. I've gotten them a few times over the last like six weeks. Um, It's just, it's comfort food, I guess. I don't know. And then uh, I had some wine. I binge watched a bunch of YouTube videos and there's been like a lot of great like booktube content with all the end of year like videos and 2020 reading goal videos and all that kind of fun stuff. And then I read all Saturday night. This was when I was still in the middle of all of the Mistborn Era 1 stuff. And then Sunday, I had a super lazy day. Like, I did not do anything but read all day. I woke up, I had my coffee, and watched a little bit of YouTube. And then I just read the whole day. I finished Hero of Ages on Sunday night, which was a tear. I cried for the entire last 30 pages of Hero of Ages. Um, I was just so I don't cry normally with books I cried for two books out of the 220 I read last year and both of those were in the second half of the year so I was like here I am five days into 2020 and a book's already made me cry so um that was just very I was like all the emotions but then I was actually probably there's like a catharsis in I think crying from a good story with books and I was in a great mood I'd been like in a terrible mood all week and I was super grumpy and tired and stuff um But yeah, I was in a great mood Sunday night. So this is the finished spread. And I did get the blue Aura Estelle. I didn't do an unboxing or anything. There's so many of them. I didn't really think it was necessary. I'd rather focus on getting up my flip throughs and filming this. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next one soon. Bye.